Now we have uh, the vehicle moving, we have the cargo in place, so in this stage we're going to focus on how to get these spheres out of the uh, vehicle. We will do that by animating the plate here from this position to a bit higher and then we will set up this plate as a uh, dynamic object so it will literally push these spheres out of the vehicle. We will also uh, we will do the same for the lid of course so the lid will also react dynamically to what's happening here and uh, we will finish off with adding some some uh, secondary movement to the plate so it sort of moves up comes to a stop and uh, wobbles a little bit right let's get started start by unhiding the lid in the uh, object manager add a simulation dynamics create rigid body and for this we can go to model two for this to work we need to we need to disable it until it reaches uh, frame 139 where the action starts so select the tag on the lid uncheck enabled scrub to frame 139 and set keyframe for enabled ah, something weird happened there 139 uh, set frame set keyframe one frame ahead enable it set keyframe Now we'll animate the plate. So we can hide lid for now. Uh, select chassis and then make sure you are in polygon mode. Selection, unhide all to make those visible again. You are still at frame 140 so uh, that's exactly where we want to be I think yes frame 140 select dynamic plate and in the dynamic plates at boots manager uh, you have the Y position, so keyframe that, control click, scrub to frame 148, and we can switch to front view here. Move it up on the Y axis until it's slightly above the rim here, and keyframe that value. seems to be working. Go back to uh, perspective view. Now scrub to frame 139 again. And expand this group. Now we're going to add a collider. And we're going to add it to the plate the plate object here so select plate simulation dynamics create collider in the tags attributes manager you need to uncheck enabled set keyframe and once again one frame ahead to frame 140 enable it and set keyframe. So now we have the plate animated and uh, we have a collider tag on it that's kicking in at frame 140 as the same 
time that the spheres are activated so the plate the dy dynamic plate will push these up but before we move this group before we make this group a child of the chassis group we will make sure it has some secondary movement once it comes to, its, to a stop at frame 148 and we do that by adding a uh, MoGraph fracture object we should probably be doing that this is frame 0 I think uh, fracture object we can delete this one <coughs> we won't be needing that anymore fracture object and while we still have the fracture object selected uh, add a MoGraph effector delay effector and on the effector tab on the of the delay effector set mode to spring now create a new null name it plate select delay and fracture make those two a child of plate and now make plate a child of the group chassis that and make dyne plate a group of fracture. Now let's see if this worked. Uh, activate the motor, select the two tags of the wheels and set dynamics to on. Unhide the lid. Let's zoom out a bit. Press play. rolling yay looks pretty good let's see how the secondary movement looks yeah looks pretty good 